Lotus Petals, welcome back. So, I've tried filming this once before, and my MacBook crashed, you guys. It crashed so hard. Like, I just, I can't even, like, there are tears involved, you guys. It's sad. It is so sad. But in the meantime, um, we had plans for this room, and um, we've been working on getting it done. Let me see if I can turn this lighting. Yeah, that's too much. Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep that covered. We don't need me that bright. Um, but... Um, the room that I film in is the spare bedroom slash makeup room. Sorry guys. Little to no sleep, long day at work and staying up all night. Um, but I've tried filming this before and my MacBook crashed and I lost all the footage. <laughs> and now that we've got this room pretty much how we want it and um, I've got it set up in the way that I want it I'm in front of a window that gets sunlight so during the day if I want to film I can throw the curtain back and use natural lighting um, I've got a little bit of a lighting set up now so that I can actually film at night and the footage won't look ridiculous and dark and stuff. But needless to say, since I've been rattling on, um, I picked this foundation up at Ulta. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, promising up to 24-hour matte finish in medium olive. Because, well, I have an olive undertone and I'm kind of medium I'm losing my tan from the cruise. I need to get back out to the tanning bed to keep it. But you know how that goes. Mm. God, I love coffee. Does anybody else love coffee? Just me? Okay. I've already washed, moisturized my face. I'm going to go ahead and prime. Um, I got in my ipsy bag a couple of primers over the last couple of months that one I have tried and one I have not. The one I have tried is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer in one with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. And they sent me this little sample size and honestly like I'm getting a lot of use out of this. I think I've already used it like three times and I've only used like that much of it. So I'm really impressed. And then the other one I have is Tres, Tresdique. And it is the Mini Matte Blur Stick. And the packaging for this is adorable. Like, adorable. And then you pop it open, and there's your little primer in there. And, I mean, for a sample, that's pretty good. Especially if you're like me, and you don't fill in a lot of pores like for me it's just this area my nose right between my eyebrows because I, it's not really pores so much as scarring from chicken pox I was that kid um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I know how this works on my skin so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I love the way that this just like soaks into my skin. And I feel like I have really good makeup days when I wear this. And for those who don't know, I wear glasses. I have combo skin. 
so, and right now, because of the season, because I'm working on my Halloween videos, and my skin does not like all these products over and over and over again. So I actually have some demonology right there. Okay, that is all sunk in. Now I'm just gonna take this little blur stick. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to turn on my light on my mirror first of all. I'm going to do half. And then we'll look at it and see if we notice a difference. All right, I'm gonna look close up here real quick. Honestly, like I don't feel yeah, I don't feel like it blurred anything. Let's really zoom you in. This is the side that I just put that primer on. This is the side without it. I... I don't see... any difference... whatsoever. If anything, I think it exaggerates my pores instead of hides them. And that's just not a cute look. Okay, dig into my everyday makeup over here. Bust out my... You guys didn't see that, right? Okay. This is my favorite concealer right now. This is the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour um, Liquid Concealer. And mine is in the shade C5. Um, I use it to prime my eyeballs, conceal my bags. Kind of living my best ghetto life right now because the lighting setup that I had, yeah, I cannot find the charger for it. And it's dead. Which is fantastic. Just, just fantastic. So... Um, another option here was to go ghetto fabulous so that's what I did I I went I went ghetto fabulous couldn't be helped so one of these days I'll show you what I mean when I say I have to go ghetto fabulous but we're back, we're filming. Let's see if I can't help this out a little bit. I feel like it's kind of low for you guys to try and see, but we're just gonna go with it because that's all I can really do right now. We're gonna try this foundation. Now I've already worn this and I've already developed my opinions on it so I'm going to show you the application with my Artiz brush and I'm going to show you the application with my Beauty Blender which I'm gonna have to go get damp because I forgot to 
do with that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Beauty blender's all damp. Now, normally I would put a headband in my hair, but all my headbands currently have foundation on them and are in the wash. So, like this is a pretty good shade match for me. I'm really rather impressed with the shade match. I, I know on camera it might look a little light especially with the light hitting it. I feel like I need to get my mirror boosted here a little bit. There we go, that's better. Now I can look at you, talk to you, and look right here. Now this is supposed to be full coverage. I'm going to zoom you in and show you the side width the side without and remember this side I put that pore blurring primer on so I want to see if it actually does anything with the foundation on so I didn't put anything over here stay focused camera and it looks really good on the forehead it's looking really good right here down here it's not full full coverage but you guys I mean it looks really good and it's really lightweight so now I'm not even doing a full pump when I'm pumping on my finger right now because I don't know where my palette is I feel like the application is really, really pretty either way. Um, I don't feel like there's really much difference between the sides. It might be a little more sheer on the sponge side, but it still looks really good. And I'm just going to build it up just a little bit right here because it is supposed to be full coverage and I prefer full coverage and I want to see I mean I already know how this looks built up on itself because I worn it a couple of times but for you guys
Like, I think it looks really good so far. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my concealer on camera because, you know, not every foundation and concealer play well together. And just going to put it right there, a couple of dots out, and then I do use a, this is the Smashbox um, Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer, and I do put a little bit toward the outside of my eye. If you guys hear my dog in the background, I'm in the process of crate training, and he is not having it. But anyways, I was watching... Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Rachel, from Rach Loves Life and Rach Loves. I believe those are her channels. And um, she was following, I want to say a Kylie tutorial. And... Kylie did this with the two different concealers under her eyes. And it just, in my opinion, looks much more natural than if you're just putting that one lighter shade. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes. And for that I'm going to be using the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I need a brush. I need a brush. Use this little wet and wild powder brush. Go and blend out that under eye one more time just to make sure there's no creases. Y'all, it's time for the ugly faces. I know a lot of people are doing the whole baking thing right now, but I find as I'm getting older, because I'm in my early to mid-30s, and I find that as I'm getting older, I'm getting lines under my eyes that just I can't keep concealer from sinking into, and my eye, my under eyes also seem to dry, be drying out, so... I'm not going to put a whole lot of powder under there to dry it out anymore. So, I'm going to go put on the rest of my face. Pop on some liner, some lashes, some mascara, contour, blush, highlight, lips. I mean, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. But, this is when I'm up and moving. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, I do have some housework to do tonight. Um, I've got some laundry to do. I've got some dishes to do. So I'm going to work on that stuff and I'm going to keep you guys updated on how everything is wearing. So I will check in with you guys as soon as I'm done putting the rest of my face on. I'll see you guys back here in a minute. Bye. And we're back. And here's the finished look. I threw on my Ardell 811 Faux Minks. Um, my Holy Grail L'Oreal, uh, Lash Paradise Mascara, uh, bronzed with my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze, and then slightly contoured with the e.l.f. Contour Kit, um, and then highlighted 
with the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Rose Gold, you guys. That is my go-to highlight right now. It is just, it is blinding and gorgeous, and I love it. Uh, threw on some brow gel. We're going with our natural brows today. And then my Wet n Wild Liquid Lip in, I don't even know, because I don't know where it went. It has already run away. You guys? My lipstick ran off. There it is. It is 925B Give Me Mocha. So I'm going to take some before pictures for our starting point, And I'll insert those here with and without flash. And then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So, bye guys. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you an update. Um, it's been two hours since I finished putting everything on. And I have been doing dishes and taking care of the dog. And I'm getting ready to do floors. See, I've got this beautiful hardwood, but I need to wax it. Um, and the eyelashes had to come off, yo, like, ugh. They were just too heavy for what I was doing tonight. But everything's still on. Everything still looks good. Got no creasing around my mouth. Nothing in my lines around my mouth. Everything creases up here. There's just... <clears throat> No stopping that. Everything gets right up in here and it just settles. Can't do anything about it. My little demon right here is still mostly covered, which I didn't, I didn't go back over that. I didn't add coverage there, so it just is what it is right there. But that's the update for now and I will see you guys again in an hour or so. Update. We are at the three hour mark. I'm currently editing um, a special effects video. If it's up, I'll link it in the cards, wherever. Those are, um, if it's not, look for it. It'll be out soon. Um, but yeah. We are still looking pretty flawless. Now, one thing I've noticed, because this is the first time I've worn this foundation without powdering it, is that if you don't powder it and you start to get a little oily and you, like, touch it, it does... I don't even know if you can see that. It does transfer. Let me see if I can... There we go. Like, it tran... Oh. I still don't know if you can see it, but it transfers. So, but the other times I've worn it, I have powdered it. So, I like it powdered. Um, not sure how I feel about it like this, but anyways, see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys. We are, <laughs> we are four and a half. No, we are five hours in. Um, the husband is going to be home soon, so I'm going to wash my face because bed is coming. Um, but the eyes, the eyes still look good. I mean, granted, I had to bring in some other shadows to make them work, but the foundation... No cracking, no crazy creasing. It didn't oxidize. I, I, I gotta tell you guys, I really, really love this foundation. Like, between this and my Maybelline Superstay, like, these are my two, like, holy grail drugstore foundations. But I'm a full coverage queen, so are we shocked? So from me and a CC, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Lotus Petals. I'll see you next time. Love you, bye. <laughs>